I'm Catherine McCartan. I'm a researcher and academic at Massey University, New Zealand, working as a computer scientist. Alongside my husband, I also run a sheep and beef farm in the central North Island. New Zealand is often described as two farms sitting side by side at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. We have imaginatively named these two farms the North Island and the South Island. What we do here is grow food. We produce milk, lamb, beef, apples, kiwi fruit, wine, honey, and a few other things. And we export at least 90% of the food that we produce. Historically, the thing we've been really good at is producing pasture-based, 100% grass-fed animal protein. We're the world's most efficient producers of meat and milk in terms of methane produced per litre of milk or kilo of meat. We can get a kilo of lamb to London with fewer greenhouse gas emissions than the Welsh can. And for the past 30 years, we've been doing it without any government subsidies. None at all. How do we do that? We have some physical advantages, a temperate climate, fertile soils, and biosecurity isolation. And we have some cultural advantages, relatively well-educated farmers who are innovative and adaptable. But the main thing that makes New Zealand different from most other countries is that we embrace land use change. Not for us the idea of growing grapes on the same piece of land using the same traditional systems for centuries. We are quick adopters of new ideas. In the past, the drivers of land use change have often been financial. We've gone out into the world to find premium markets and adapted to sell them what they want. We've had the kiwi fruit boom, the apple boom, the bull beef boom, the dairy boom, a recent honey boom. In the past 25 years, there's been a big change in land use towards dairy cattle. The sheep flock has nearly halved. In that time, the amount of New Zealand lamb produced has not really decreased. Way fewer sheep are producing way more lambs. The same, ha the same has happened in our apple industry. We grow the same number of apples on half the land that we needed 30 years ago. We grow New Zealand bred varieties and high density apple orchards using clever pruning methods. We've changed the way we grow lambs and apples based on practically tested good science. From now on, the main driver of land use change is going to be protection of our environment and reduction of our greenhouse gas emissions. There are two main issues facing New Zealand farmers. We need to reduce our impacts on fresh water quality and we need to lower our methane emissions from livestock. New Zealand law has recently changed to mandate that we do this. New Zealand farmers embrace these challenges. We have a vested interest in preserving our environment, but we're starting from a high baseline. If we measure our greenhouse gas emissions per unit of production, we are already the world's most efficient agricultural producers. If we compare our water quality with that of other countries, we're still well ahead of the pack. We're top of the class, striving to move from an A to an A+, while much of the rest of the world languishes on a C. So what can we do? We must take the initiative and diversify yet again into new products and practices that are kinder to our New Zealand environment. And we are. If I look just within 10 kilometres of where I live, I can come up with two very good examples of changing land use away from animal-based farming to low-impact plant-based farming. Don and Conchita Tweeddale are beekeepers. They are planting 1,500 hectares of land that was previously a sheep farm into specially selected strains of manuka, a plant native to New Zealand that grows naturally. Their aim is to produce manuka honey with very high levels of methylglyoxal. They're planting the land back into natural vegetation, dramatically reducing the greenhouse gas emissions associated with this land, and at the same time creating a habitat for native birds and improving water quality. Their manuka honey will be sold at a premium price to companies manufacturing medical bandages, with their product used in most hospitals around the world. Dan and Jackie Cottrell are New Zealand's first commercial growers of quinoa. They grow quinoa in conjunction with a hill country, free range sheep and beef grazing system. Rotating cropping and grazing helps with weed control. They don't use any herbicides, pesticides or fungicide sprays on the quinoa plants. They use about 15% of the fertiliser inputs required by European growers in straight cropping systems and they get great results. That's because of the higher soil carbon, in other words, healthier soil, that is achieved under their permanent pasture and grazing systems. Wholesale change is not the answer for New Zealand agriculture. 
We're still the world's most efficient producers of meat and milk. We know we can grow safe, high quality foods of all sorts. Now for the sake of our environment, we need to get the mix right.